So Threads is gaining momentum and we are seeing a lot more people utilizing the app than ever before, mainly because there are now so many different signposts to Threads from the existing meta platforms. So I don't know about you, but when I'm using Facebook and Instagram, every few minutes I'm seeing a reference to Threads, share this over on Threads, take a look at what's going on on Threads. On Instagram, you now see if you've got any threads notifications, which is a nice way of them inviting people to come through to threads really easily as well. So let's take a look at some of the updates that have been happening on threads recently. The first one, which I think is a really good one, is that they've recently announced the fact that they've now got third party partners fact checking and reviewing and rating false content. This is a move which is in direct con com competition with what's going on on X. X is famously um, a little bit unruly. You know, they don't have a lot of content moderation happening on X, whereas Threads are seeing their proposition in the market here and saying, we're a much safer platform to be on. And we are fact checking, particularly with the upcoming general elections in the UK and US elections, this is going to be really important. So fact checkers can now rate Threads content um, and downgrade stuff from being shown in the algorithm if it's deemed untrue or false. Um, the other thing that is happening is, as I mentioned, we're seeing more numbers um, using Threads. Um, so it is gaining more momentum. Um, they have announced that since February, they gained another 20 million users. So they're around 150, 160 million monthly active users in total. Now, that is impressive, given that they are almost two years old, uh, but it's still a long way off what X claims to get, which is 550 million. So Threads, 150 million, X, 550 million. So they've still got a lot of growth in order to catch up with X if they are going to be seen as the viable alternative. One of the ways that they are getting more people into the app, boosting engagement, is to incentivize high profile creators to join the app. So as you can see in the screenshot, they are actually offering big creators $5,000 to post on threads, <laughs> which is nuts. You have to get 10,000 or more views on your post to earn money, but they are literally giving cash payments to people for coming to join the app. Obviously you need to be a creator account in order to claim this, but the one that I can think of who recently joined uh, threads to promote her brand new album was Taylor Swift. And I'm pretty sure she will have got more than 10,000 views on her posts. So who knows how much money she got paid to join Threads, but it is something that she recently did. Another update is we're seeing more and more of these um, options to share content over to Threads. You can now share content directly from Instagram over to Threads. Um, which is just another prompt to get a bit more engagement, get a bit more posting happening over on the platform. And the other update that we are seeing is threads will soon allow people to see exactly um, how many views each post of theirs is getting. So everyone will soon be able to see how their posts are faring on Instagram's ex competitor they'll also be able to see how many views everyone else is getting. So this is something that was tested a few months ago. I saw uh, Matt Navarra, the social media industry trend spotter, um, had a view count on his posts. So he was definitely being seen as somebody who could test that out. Um, and the view count was huge for his posts, particularly when compared to what he gets on X. Um, so it's a very similar move to what X does. You can see how many views each post gets on X as well. And just moving towards a more transparent social media landscape. Um, so that will be really interesting to then be able as a business to start making comparisons as to how many views 
you get on threads versus X. So I think that will be a really interesting audit to take when that happens.